Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about a new feature in 2021 R2 called the DAC Schema Browser. So first off, what is a DAC? A DAC is an acronym for Data Access Class. When we're looking at a sales order, for example, you have many different data tables. So the most primary table is the sales order table. But then you also have a reference to the customer. And that in itself links to your customer table. Under your details, the line items for the sales order, you have different inventory items and there's a number of different line items here. That in itself is a different database table, a different DAC called SO line. So you got SO order, you got SO line. And there are tons of different tables just to make up a sales order. And in working with an ERP such as Acumatica, in order to develop reports or to make customization changes or to build out a generic inquiry and to pull this data together into some sort of report so you can analyze it, it is extremely helpful to understand the relationship of these different tables and how they interact. So the DAC Schema Browser is available in two different areas of Acumatica. The first one is, is if you're on a form, you can go to Tools and you could find it here. We'll get to it in a second. But also if you go into a generic inquiry, so if we just look at this sales order generic inquiry, the one that's out of the box and shows a list of sales orders. If we go into customization and edit this generic inquiry, and the generic inquiry gives you the makeup of how that data is displayed, but it also provides you the configuration of the data and where to get it. So you have your tables and relations. But what Acumatica has done is they've turned this into a hyperlink, and now you can click on this in order to open up the data access class schema browser. So if we click on this, You could see in the upper left hand corner, we're highlighted on sales order. Now, of course, you could search for any table that you're looking for here. So, but over here in the main panel of the screen, you can see definition. These are all links to move you down the page. Everything is on the same page. So under the definition, we could see the display name for the SO order DAC. You could see the namespace. You could see the primary screen it's used on. There's a hyperlink for that too. And in our situation, we have some customizations. So you could see the different customizations that are installed into our instance. Now down here, you can see every single field for the SO order DAC. So the first one is the order number. You can see the type of field and its length. The display name, it's called order number. And if there's any reference, because the order number itself is the main field for sales order, of course, it's not referenced to anything else. But when we look at order type, so order type, it's a character field type and its length is two. Display name is order type, but it references this SO order type. So if we go back to sales order and we create a new one, order type field is up here. When we do a lookup, where's it getting that data from? It's getting the data from the SO order type DAC. That's how that works. So again, we could scroll down and we can see all of the different fields that are part of the SO order. Notice you're getting these tags. So this tag indicates that this is customized, this field. This one indicates that it doesn't exist in the database. And typically that means that it is a non-bound field or a virtual field that's just used for that particular screen. We don't store any data in this. It's just used to calculate on the fly. You can see when fields are obsolete, they're no longer being used. And if we click over here, we can see incoming references. So incoming references moves us down on the same SO order but it moves us down to see the incoming references section. These are all sections here. And these are other DACs that are referencing the order table. So for example, AM configuration results, this is manufacturing configuration results, 
or an accounts receivable adjust, that's for taking payments on an order, all of these link back to the sales order to show information from the sales order easily. So if we were to click on AR Adjust, you can see here are the primary screens. So the AR Adjust is used on invoices and memos, payments and applications, cash sales and invoices. If we were to open up the payments and application screen and we were to write a new payment, Over here, we have the ability to apply our payment to invoices if we want to. So we would come over here and put some money in. But we also have a sales order tab. So if we click on the plus button, we select an order type, and then we do a lookup. So this is pulling down all of the orders related to this customer, related to this order type, that we can apply monies to. And in order to get all this information, of course, there's a link, a reference to the SO order DAC. And that's why we see it over here. If we go back and we search for SO order and we click on it, we go back to incoming references. This is why you see this linked here because AR adjust requires the information from the SO order. Now on the flip side, earlier we looked at fields and by fields, you can go down and you can see all the way to the right, any links to a foreign reference. This means, for example, the bill address ID that's located in the sales order, it requires a lookup or referential information from the SO address. Same thing with the contact. We're looking for contact information. We have to go into this table. But you can see all that information separated here under outgoing references. So this is a section that includes all the outgoing references and their fields all together. So that's it, DAC Schema Browser. It's been a very widely requested feature for many years. And Acumatica, when they do it, they do it right. This is a very easy to use screen with links. You can click back and forth. And this will really help you build out your generic inquiries, help with the building of reports, and with any customizations you're trying to do. So thanks so much for watching this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions about this or anything else, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.